Hello everyone, welcome back to Arcastro Science. Today evening I was having a conversation with one of my dear friend with regards to the current transits which are happening at this moment of time with special reference to the retrograde motion of Jupiter which is happening in the sign of Aries in the conjunction with Rahu. And while I was discussing the matters I was going through some kind of deep down approach, some deep analysis with regards to the present transits because since I was talking with one of my friends, so it was like a open discussion and after an hour or two I thought, I realized that, that while making the analysis I was talking about certain things which I can make a content about so that you, every one of you may come to know about it. So I thought that why not to make a separate content on that so that I will be able to put down my thoughts and you can listen to it and you can have your own thinking about that. You can take a pen and a notebook so that you can sit with it while viewing this um, video because uh, I will be discussing some nakshatra level contents with regards to some dates because on those particular dates the influence of certain planets will be more now these are all with special regards to the Jupiter retrogression along with other planetary influences yes these other planetary influences are making it more powerful now someone will say is it good is it bad don't worry about that the impact which is happening that is very important and i also know that there are many viewers of my uh, channel where uh, they like to hear or they like to listen about the vedic astrological analysis of the transit of a particular planet now since jupiter saturn rahu ketu these are the planets they move very slowly so their impact to some extent you may feel as if it is lasting to some big amount of time some long lasting impact you can say in that way on 4th of September when Jupiter turned retrograde that was the time when Jupiter was receiving the aspect of Mars from the sign of Virgo and Saturn from the sign of Aquarius. Now Mars rules the sign of Aries where Jupiter is transiting. According to the natural zodiac, Mars is the ruler of the first house that is the sign of Aries. Aries is all about I, me and myself. So normally what happens that whenever any particular energy uh, means planetary energy or whatever it is uh, is associated with the sign of Aries it directly impacts our own energy level our own thought because Aries is the first house so it, it is the brain area that is the first this head area brain the thoughts which comes in our mind that directly is somewhat associated with the sign of Aries. Now since Virgo where Mars is transiting at this moment of time Virgo is 6th house away from Aries and Lagna Lord Mars take Aries as the first house so Mars becomes the Lagna Lord. Now Lagna Lord Mars is transiting in the 6th house. Now Mars is a warrior. Mars usually performs very well in the 6th house. So what it is, it is a time when you may feel that there are certain kind of challenges. Challenges related to what? Wheresoever the sign Aries lies in your, in your horoscope, challenges related to that house. Suppose Aries lies in your fourth house. Okay, that means Mars is transiting in the ninth house. Suppose Aries happens to be your fourth house. That means Mars is transiting in the ninth house. And from the ninth house, Mars will be aspecting your fourth house by its eighth aspect. 
so certain matters related to your home your homely environment your domestic peace or the health of mother these matters will always go on your mind some stressful environment and you will try your best to make sure that those matters has been properly taken care of that is how mars acts in the 6th house in the sign of virgo now now in the sign of virgo what happens here now mars will be critically mars here will be forced to think very critically look into the matters more perfectly like as if we are trying our best to arrange certain things mars is a soldier that is the reason mars has been given the 8th aspect now 8th house is our house of longevity and soldier is also a protector mars is looking onto the sign of aries so mars will make sure that i have to do everything in proper order in order to protect the significance where so ever the sign aries lies in our horoscope now since jupiter is retrograde in the first house so and it is moving towards rahu so on our mind you you will feel at the mental level you will feel that our wisdom on certain matters are getting contradicted you may get distracted from your own thought your own thought process and mars is watching that from the its eighth aspect so mars will make you feel that no no you have to make everything correct now suppose it is happens to be your seventh house i'm just giving one examples and so that i will be able to explain you so suppose it is happens to be your seventh house in that case what will happen you may get deviated or you may get distracted from the responsibilities of your relationship but since mars is transiting in the sign of virgo and it is aspecting by its eighth aspect now if aries happens to be at seventh house that means mars is transiting in the 12th house from the 12th house mars is aspecting the seventh house and it is just making you sure that yes you should not get into a wrong path because the planet which is the ruler of a particular sign if that planet is aspecting that house that sign it will try to protect the significance of that sign now the combined impact of saturn also saturn is retrograde at this moment of time since saturn is retrograde and it is moving towards the sign of capricorn it is moving towards its own sign capricorn that means there is a significant amount of dilemma within every one of us that on certain matters we should have we should bring the discipline more amount of commitment patience and perseverance but jupiter is moving towards rahu so on certain matters we will be like very impatient we will feel that no this is not working i have to think otherwise that thinking otherwise can distract us deviate us and on this particular part i will also say that mars is also giving some kind of provocations or provoking us like mars is energy whenever mars aspects a particular house it will energize the significance of that house so in one way mars is protecting the sign of aries but it is also provoking jupiter or provoking rahu so this is a time when we may feel that as if we are looking into other parts now where so ever the sign aries lies in your horoscope you will feel that uh, in order to achieve those significances we can go for other way around be it good be it bad 
टाइम विल से बट दैट इज वेन आवर विजडम हैज टू बी टेकन केयर ऑफ एंड देर इज अ सिग्निफिकेंट अमाउंट ऑफ डिलेमा ऑल्सो विच इज वर्किंग नॉट डिलेमा काउंस फ्रॉम दैट एनर्जी ऑफ साइन वर्को मीन्स नाउ ऑल्सो द थिंग्स आर अंडर अवर कंट्रोल बट वेरी सोन यू विल फील दैट यू विल फील एज इफ नाउ द टाइम हैज कम टू सेट आवर सेल्फ फ्री as if we are seeking some kind of freedom as if we are seeking some kind of independence at the mental level as if we are trying to go out of that restriction now suppose um, if it happens in your ninth house of dharma so you may feel that there are so many restrictions which are uh, stopping you to go ahead so you may all of a sudden revolt around the uh, around your own morals your own culture you may feel like that suppose if it is happening in your 10th house you may feel that no the work ethics are binding you i have to um, think about some other work ethics in order to reach that top position now this these are very strong energies it will start more starting from 17th of september if you're just writing it down i will say you that starting from 17th of september till 23rd of september you during that 7 days 17th till 23rd of september during that 7 days you will find a small glimpse of that energy there can be some kind of misunderstandings with the people like suppose if it is happening in your 9th house there can be misunderstanding with your own father you never know if it is in the third house there can be significant misunderstandings or you may all of a sudden uh, communicate certain things which you should not communicate um, in your daily uh, contact in the among the people who your daily contact so this kind of things some kind of provocating energies you will feel as if i have to achieve certain things now in order to achieve certain things you may go beyond now that going beyond is a rahu energy basically impact of mars on rahu impact of rahu on jupiter now here one thing that since saturn is retrograde and it is moving towards capricorn so ultimately your thought will be to bring around some kind of changes some kind of positive changes to bring some kind of discipline to bring some kind of commitment means ultimately your thought will be good but the way to achieve that destination that way can be somehow something different now you can say that maybe it is some innovative thing but i will say that it is something more than innovative also because ultimately it is true rahu towards which jupiter is moving i'm not talking about i'm not worried about mean rahu i'm talking about the original rahu that true rahu because true rahu will be in the gandanta that is the fire water interface till 29th of november and jupiter by then will be very close to rahu now as i talked about 23rd of september on 23rd of september one more thing is happening mars is entering this nakshatra of chitra now chitra nakshatra works as a bridge between virgo and libra the two quarters of chitra happens to be in virgo the last two quarters of chitra happens to be in libra so one 23rd of september when mars entered the nakshatra of chitra that will be a time when you will try to find the actual way as if now you will find you will feel that lots of critical thinking has been happened now i have to choose a one particular way and i have to exercise my energy in that way and on basically the second week of october on 13th of october mars will leap chitra nakshatra in the sign of libra means it is entering libra on 3rd of october basically you can just write it down on 3rd of october mars enters the sign of libra 
on 13th of october mars comes out of chitra nakshatra in libra and it enters the swati nakshatra now starting from 3rd of october till 13th of october when mars will be in libra it will be directly aspecting the sign of aries because libra happens to be 7th house from aries as if it will be like um, opposition to mars mutual aspect so that will be a time when you may feel that yes now i have understood the challenges and i have to work on it you may suddenly feel that yes now i am getting that freedom i am getting that um, the mind the thoughts are moving so that will be a very important energy we can use it to some something good we can use it to make it more worse i will just give you the importance of that energy how to use it you have to think about now you see virgo also happens to be a dual sign but it is also earthy sign okay so here mars sometimes mars feels that as if uh, mars has to think about so many things and um, then act so when mars leaves the sign of virgo on 3rd of october and enters libra it will be directly aspecting the sign of aries and jupiter so that will be a time when every one of us we may feel that our wisdom is getting into many more areas okay in order to achieve our destination in order to achieve the things which we like the most because aries is about all about i me and myself saturn will be aspecting aries by then but it is still retrograde it is turning direct on 4th of november and at this point of time mars is moving fast so it will be a time period in the month of october when mars will be in the sign of libra in the chitra nakshatra till 13th of october i am talking about it will be a moment when we may feel that now i will be like achieving all the things in my life with regards to the sign of aries and since in the sign of aries jupiter is retrograding jupiter rules sagittarius and pisces so with regard to sagittarius and pisces also you may feel all of a sudden that yes these are the things which i have to work upon and i will be able to achieve it which is a good thing but that rahu energy it may make us feel too much deviated if you are thinking about something related to innovation something related to scientific research it's a very good energy trust me it will make you feel as if your mind is at the different level at a different level of freedom but if you are thinking otherwise like suppose uh, something is making you very much anxious or you are under some kind of depression or stress then this particular energy may provoke you more towards the bad things so this is the time period when we have to uh, give more importance to jupiterian wisdom so one of the good remedies during that particular time when mars will be in the chitra nakshatra in libra and you see essentially if i talk about personally jupiter only jupiter then yes during that by that time jupiter will be very close to rahu uh, under the aspect of saturn that is retrograde saturn jupiter is retrograde that is the energy of jupiter will be very high and erratic okay very uh, different kind of energy of jupiter okay under the aspect of mars now that mars is very direct it is moving very fast you if you can see the transit motion of mars you will see that mars is moving very fast at this moment of time so it is impacting our at the mental level that is yes, now i have to work on certain things i cannot stop saturn is uh, the delaying factor because saturn is retrograde so at the mental level there is a lot of dilemma going on when to start when to work upon it let me think but what to think so many things now that what to think there where rahu is impacting jupiter 
so during that particular moment one of the good remedies to emphasize the better results of jupiter is that listening to vishnu sahasra naam vishnu sahasra naam is so powerful that it can channelize your mental wellness within no time if you can listen it daily starting from now starting from today onwards specifically in the morning you can understand that the energy of jupiter can be channelized in a better manner no matter it is getting impacted by rahu it is impacted by mars saturn no matter there can be provocative energies but there can be some kind of distraction also like suppose all of a sudden you will get interested to foreign things rahu is foreign rahu is uh, energy related to different communities so all of a sudden you may get deviated from your path you may like suppose in a, in your relationship also you may feel that um, um some kind of deviations from your dharma from your righteousness you may feel like that you may not accept it but at the mental level you may feel like that but since mars is aspecting aries so at the back of your mind you are also feeling that that you should not get into some kind of wrong things some kind of wrong steps but what to do rahu and saturn you see although saturn is transiting in the sign of aquarius it is moving towards capricorn but saturn that coldness of saturn it is also impacting jupiter in one way or the other so it can bring some kind of coldness between you and your partner or with whom you are interacting now this is the this is the actual truth this is the honest analysis i'm talking about so here vishnu sastra naam will definitely give you very good results just listen to it every morning and you can count upon this energy next 3 to 4 months when these transits are happening it is really going to give you very good results because jupiter will be under the aspect of mars till 17th of november more two and half months to go so don't take it very lightly one more analysis i will talk about is that uh, starting from 13th of october till 1st of november mars will be in the swati nakshatra okay now swati nakshatra is a very beautiful nakshatra it is associated with learning knowledge wisdom the knowledge which makes you free makes your men, you 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 are free of any bondage and restriction at the mental level means that kind of knowledge that pure knowledge that is associated with swati nakshatra which make you uh, flow freely just like a wind a cool breeze which soothes your mind with knowledge wisdom means sometimes you will feel that um, while talking with a person you will feel that wow that person is so knowledgeable that is swati nakshatra basically and jupiter just like mars is aspecting jupiter jupiter will also aspect mars so that will be a very essential time for those people who are associated with innovative technology innovative works knowledge students teachers consultants counselors the people who are associated with some kind of learning studies or research based works also why research based works because jupiter is associated somehow now with rahu is because because of that transit saturn from aquarius now aquarius is also very futuristic sign related to scientific technologies aspecting jupiter so if you really think that yes i have to convert this energy so many malefic planets we have to accept this fact see mars saturn rahu they are malefic planets natural malefic planets so many malefic influences are there on jupiter at this moment of time although aries is ruled by mars it's okay 
let it be but if you really want to take the most benefit of this transit you have to wait till mars enters the sign of libra first and then nakshatra of swati because on 17th of november mars will finally enter the uh, sign of scorpio its own sign so that time mars is not uh, aspecting the sign of aries okay and on 4th of november also uh, one more thing that is saturn is turning direct so after saturn turns direct one more thing which is going to happen is that uh, related to sign of aries that is jupiter means the thoughts or the new kind of knowledge or wisdom which you are thinking to you you have to work upon or you can uh, learn it you can use it in your life okay so that time saturn will try to give you a push okay and you can work on it you can learn it properly saturn after it turns direct one more thing which is going to happen is that the commitment the discipline which you are craving for for your upcoming months and years for your personal life now that time you will be able to put that discipline and commitment in your life and after saturn turns direct starting from 4th of november onwards because after 17th of november mars is out of the game mars is moving into the sign of scorpio that will be that because after 17th of november it will be all about mars and rahu true rahu i'm talking about true rahu so that will be a time when saturn will try to control the influence of rahu it will try to control the influence of jupiter also but it will try to control the influence of rahu so slowly and gradually you will feel that yes now we have a chance to look into the broader picture in a more bright manner here one more aspect is there since jupiter is retrograde so we have to check the result of jupiter starting uh, in the sign of pisces also as if means what you need to do uh, see in your chart in your horoscope and put jupiter in transit in the sign of pisces and then make the analysis if we do that then what will happen we have to check the conjunction of jupiter and rahu also in the sign of pisces then the equation completely changes again so it becomes more integrate means if you want to go to the next level of analysis then you can check the analysis in that way also so that will be a time when we need to have a proper check on which are the things which making us feel indulging about like suppose um, you are a student so your focus should be on studies you are a doctor your focus should be on how the better service you are providing towards your patients you are a teacher you should be uh, having a, a lot of patience while you are teaching the students means this way it works but rahu energy will make you feel deviated it will make you indulge in here and there things so that's the reason it is very essential to understand that the transit of true rahu because true rahu transit is happening on 29th of november so after rahu transit is happened so that time you have to check the results of this retrograde jupiter from aries also and uh, the conjunction of jupiter and rahu in the pisces also because after jupiter turns direct on 31st of december then you don't need to check about pisces you only have to check about the aries this rule is essentially applicable only for the retrograde planets not the direct planets okay so these are the essential uh, matters and one more thing i will here uh, add is that uh, when jupiter moves very close to true rahu you will it will be in the uh, nakshatra paswani so there can be a very uh, very fast thoughts regarding uh, acquiring new kind of knowledge new kind of wisdom 
so wheresoever it is happening suppose it is happening in the 10th house so that will be a time when you uh, may feel or rahu can make that jupiterian wisdom in that way you may contradict your own work ethics and you may feel that no i have to work on certain things very fast so that i have to achieve that height so there will be a time when you may make some mistakes also out of that hurry although saturn is aspecting but still that aswani nakshatra impact but here one good thing is that out of that mistakes if you want you can learn so many things you may build a new thing you may know new thing only one thing you have to be very careful about is the dharma and righteousness see wisdom can have different branches and different ways to learn about something but we have to make sure that we should not forget law justice truthfulness honesty loyalty and righteousness that is the total part of dharma is all about and that way ultimately we can take this um, conjunction of jupiter and rahu together because more jupiter will be moving towards rahu more the impact will fall upon us and we can feel it starting from 17th of september onwards one glimpse starting from 17th of september till 23rd of september those seven days and later on the impact will grow so that's it from my side and i hope that you have liked this video um, feel free to comment um, down in the comment box um, regarding your opinions and if you are um, thinking about this transit that how it is going to impact you at the personal level then you can also mail me uh, through my email id regarding any kind of consultation if you want to take from me or you can connect uh, with me through my facebook or instagram accounts regarding any kind of consultations you will find the links down in the description section and if you are new to this channel then tap on to the subscribe button click on to the notice notification bell icon so that um, every time i upload a video on youtube you may get notified instantly so till uh, i get into some another interesting video i bring up uh, bring it for you i will be uh, um, signing off for today and thanking you bye bye